Hey YC, good morning. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. Today we get to continue to dive into this month's monthly focus, which is we value an intimate walk with God. Can I ask you a question today? How has your intimate walk been with God? Maybe just since we've been walking through this chosen series with Pastor Jeff and Pastor Jake, or even just maybe hearing these devotionals every single day from Pastor Jeff, Pastor Jake, and those on the teaching team. So today, I just want to look at a piece of scripture out of John chapter 15, verse 16. And then we're going to look at a piece in Ephesians 1, verse 4, to just kind of stamp that he chose us to have an intimate walk with him. It says right here in verse 16 in John chapter 15, it says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. So whatever you ask, ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So in my Bible, to help me continue to remember that I value an intimate walk with the Father, it says this in verse 16, and I circled it in my Bible. It says, you did not choose me. Hmm. I didn't choose God. But God chose me and appointed me. Let's look over at Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. Even as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy, blameless before him. Do you see what it says in the beginning there? In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. Even as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you. It's crazy to think about it because sometimes it's hard um, to have this intimate walk, right? We think about it all the time. We, we know that God wants to be there and he wants to spend time with us. And this is just me in my life, that I know that he's there and I know that he wants to spend time with me. But I know that sometimes that life gets crazy, that... There's things that we got to do first thing in the morning. There's things that we got to do at lunch. There's, there's things that we got to do to get the day done, you know, and that sometimes we can put that kind of stuff on the back burner, right? Praying, reading, spending time with Him. But the, things that help, the thing that helps me to remember this is that I have this Father that's in heaven that loves me that chose me before the foundations of this world. And that tells me here in John chapter 15, verse 16, that I didn't choose him, that he chose me and that he appointed me, that I could bear fruit, fruit that will last and that will abide. So to go back to Ephesians chapter one, to think about that is that I have this God that chose me before the foundations of the earth. That's a God that wants to spend time with me. If he thought about me before creating this world and creating this universe, maybe I should value my intimacy with him. That there is this God in heaven who wants to be with me. That there is this God in heaven that chose me, who wants to be with me. So maybe I should, and I'm speaking about myself, maybe I should value this intimate walk that I have this God and this Father in heaven who wants to be with me, who thinks about me, who thought about me before the foundations of this world. That's pretty important. So maybe I should wake up in the morning and first thing I should do is just give him gratitude, thanking him, telling him how much I love him, not even come with my list of prayers and the list of things that, that I need or that, yeah, you know, sometimes we want. That maybe it's just this moment of just spending time with him seeking him loving him and being with him sorry about the truck 
that I should value this intimate walk with him because he values it just as much. That there's this God in heaven that wants to be with me. They chose you and me before the foundations of the world. That it says right here that you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you. There it is, church. There is this God that wants to be with us, that wants to spend every waking moment with us. So I think that I or we should value this intimate walk that we have with this Father, that we get to wake up every single day and we get to spend time with a God who chose us, that wants to be with his kids, that chose us before the foundation of this world was even created, that he wanted to spend time with you and me here today. So I challenge you and I encourage you that every morning that when we wake up, before we start our day, before our feet hit the floor, that we just give God this gratitude and thankfulness that it starts right there. Just something small that will grow into something big. That this intimate walk with the Father will be very big. It'll be something that we look forward to every single day, every moment, every minute of our life that we get to spend this time with Him and value this intimate walk with, we have with the Father. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you today, God, that, man, first and foremost is that you chose us before the foundations of this world. And that, God, that we need to know and learn, God, that we did not choose you, but you chose us. That means, Father, that you want to spend time with us here today. So, Father, help us, God, every morning before our feet hit the floor to give you gratitude. And that we would value this intimate walk that we have with you today. God, we thank you that you did choose us. So, Father in heaven, I just pray that you would help us and continue to guide us through our day and through our hours and through our minutes and that we would worship you and give you our whole hearts here today. We thank you and we love you here today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, YC, have a blessed day. See you guys Sunday. God bless.